now is Nathan Law, a pro-democracy leader. He's also a founding chair of the Democisto movement. And Nathan, thank you for joining us. I wanted to get your reaction to that press conference by the embattled chief executive, Carrie Lam, and she said, quote, that the protesters are trying to destroy Hong Kong and that the protest is pushing Hong Kong into a, quote, dangerous situation. How do you respond to that? Well, it's definitely a shame for Carrie Lam to um, to say these these sort of things because she's basically blaming all the things happening in Hong Kong uh, on the protesters. But she does not reflect what she's done wrong and uh, what responsibility she should bear. And it's quite obvious it, it's nearly two months since the first uh, million people rally. But Carrie Lam doesn't even meet the bare minimum. Um, demand of the people, which is to fully withdraw the bill and then set up a in investigative uh, commission on the police brutality. I think it's a really, really right. humble demand, and I think that right. the society has come to a consensus. Uh, you you mentioned one of the the list of five demands that protesters have, just asking for the independent inquiry. Carrie Lam at the moment standing her ground, not offering any sort of concession, just condemning the violence over the weekend. Do you think that's just going to fuel the protest movement? Is it going to make the protest movement even stronger? Well, definitely, because um, what we hope for is uh, the these officials come out and say that they're responsible and try to solve the problem instead of just condemning and then put all the blames on the protesters. So I think uh, the the arrogance Carol Lam shown will definitely ignite people, and people will be more angry because of her um, more attitude on this incident. Yeah. And meanwhile, there are major travel disruptions at the Hong Kong International Airport, the eighth busiest airport in the world. Carrie Lam didn't even mention this in her statement a couple hours ago. Um, do you think the strike action this day, the impact that it's having on international travel, the impact that it's going to have on Hong Kong's international reputation, do you think that will force the government's hand? Well, Harry Lam is afraid of mentioning it because it's just a reflection uh, at how the public opinion manifests. So I think, um, well, for now, uh, the, the movement still gained huge momentum and a lot of people supported it and going on a strike. And we have to understand that it's, a, it's an unprecedented strike in such high degree and it really affects uh, the traffic and the, and, and, the, and the airport. So I think. Um, Carol Lam knows what's going on and she's afraid of saying so and I think for Hong Kong people we will keep going and we'll um, put more pressure on the government.